Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland uh, and this short video, uh, another another video in our series of videos dealing with functions uh, and concentrating on what we mean by composition of functions, okay? Uh, and what I'll just provide is I'll provide the definition again, okay, of what we mean by composition of functions, just really quickly, so we have our definition, so our definition, okay? Uh, so our definition is something like this, so let's let f be a mapping from a set A into a set B and g be a mapping from a set B into a set C and let them be functions, okay, let them be be functions, okay, so we have two functions by definition, okay, okay, and then the composition, the composition, okay, okay, uh, of f and g, okay, the composition of the two functions f and g, okay, uh, written, it's written as it's written as g after f, okay, uh, is the function, so it is a function, okay, so it's the function uh, from, from a, from a to c, okay, okay, defined, defined as, okay, so it's a function from a to c, so g after, g after f is a mapping from a to c, okay, uh, and it's defined as g after f of x, okay, uh, is equal to, well, the first thing that we do is we apply f of x, we, we evaluate f for all values of x, okay, in its domain, and then what we do is we apply g to all values that have been evaluated by f of x, if that makes sense, and that's what we mean by a function, okay, or that's what we mean by composition of functions, so this is important for us, okay, that's what we mean by composition of functions, this is from a notation perspective. Let's have a look at a particular example, okay? Let's let's keep it simple, yeah? So here's an example, okay? Now, in the previous in the previous video, uh, what I looked at was an example where we defined the two sets and we used arrow diagrams, okay? In this situation, I'm just going to give a generic definition of the function, okay? Uh, and what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to uh, see what the abstract composition of, that, of those two functions are, okay? So let's say let, let f be a mapping from the integers into the integers, okay? Uh, uh, it's defined by, defined, defined by, let's say, uh, f of x, okay? Defined by f of x is equal to, it's equal to x plus 7. Okay. In other words, all f of x does, all this function does, is it, take int it takes integer values, it takes any integer value, and what it does, it takes any integer value, okay, from its domain, and all it does is add 7 to it, okay? So actually we know that uh, an integer plus an integer gives us an integer. So what we have is we have a mapping now from z into z. So this is a well-defined, this is a well-defined function for us, okay? Uh, so let f be this function and let, and let g also be the function from z into z, okay? Where it's defined, it's defined by the mapping g of x, so it takes values, okay, the function g takes values as inputs, and what it does is it squares those values and it adds on to, okay, and what, what we'd like to do is we'd like to construct, to construct, we like to construct the composite function, the composite function, okay, uh, g, g after, g after f, okay. So we'd like to construct this particular function g after f, okay. So, well, what do we have, okay? So the function g after f, we know it's a function by composition of functions. When we compose two functions together, we get another function. So it takes some inputs. So what we're gonna have is something like this, is we're gonna have g after, g after f uh, applied to inputs, x's, is by definition equal to g of f of x, if that makes sense, okay? Now, so let's do our substitution, okay? So what do we know? Well, we know that this must be equal to, well, we know what f of x is. f of x is the value x plus 7, okay? So that's what we need to do, first of all, is we need to evaluate the function f of x. Well, the function f of x is x plus 7. So this becomes g of x plus 7. 7, okay? So what we've done is we've passed in this particular prototype into, into the function g as input, okay? Which is what happens when we evaluate f of x for any particular input value, okay? So what do we, should we do now with the inputs into g, okay? The function g takes inputs, in this case it's taken x plus 7, and what the prototype says of the function, okay, or its implementation says, is that for any input x that we take, what we need to do is square it and add on 2. 
So this function here is going to be equal to, okay, so g of x plus 7 is going to be equal to, well, we need to square the input. Well, here's the input here, okay, here's the input. We need to square it. So we have x plus 7 needs to be squared, and we have to add on 2 to that particular function. So when we square this function, what do we get? Okay, so we're going to have, that's x plus 7 times x plus 7. That's what it means for x plus 7 squared, and we need to add on 2. When we multiply out the brackets, that gives us x squared. x times x is x squared. x times 7 is 7x, plus 7 times x is 7x. So we have 14x in total, okay, 14x. And 7 times 7 is 49, so we have plus 49. 